Good afternoon. Welcome to Yard Beast TV. And today we're interviewing Josh, who's been working out with me for the past three months. Josh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 15 years old. I go to Wayne Hampton High School. And a couple months ago, my mom was going to go work out with Vincent in one of his boot camps. And so she told me about Vincent, and I was like, hmm, this sounds interesting. Maybe I should go work out with him because I was very heavy at the time. And I wanted to make my high school soccer team, and I knew I couldn't make the soccer team with me being really heavy. So mom put me up with Vincent, and we've been working out since the beginning of October. So how much did you weigh when you first started working out with me? I weighed around 242, and now I weigh 193. Wow, and, and basically, what do you feel like was the major thing that helped you go through that transformation? Was it just strength training itself, or was it more the nutrition? It was, it was mostly nutrition that helped me out a lot. And, and, that's, and that's the key thing. Like, nutrition is extremely important. We always hear in the training environment that you can't out-train your diet. Um, so basically, when I provided Josh with a meal plan, his mom bought into the system, he bought into the system. Yeah, it seemed like it was a lot of food, but it was nutritious and, and it basically helped his body to start shedding the fat. So, how did you feel about the meals? It felt good. Um, it took me a little bit to get used to them, like eating uh, shakes in the morning with kale and oats. I didn't really like that because the oats were uh, a little bit chunky, but I got used to it. And then the next meal plan, I had to eat a whole lot of food because of school. Um, I had to combine meals at school, so I was full all the time. So what were, what were some of the changes that happened at school once people started noticing that you were eating differently, that you were losing weight, and that you know you <clears throat> had more energy? Well, at school, uh, over the first month, uh, people started asking me, Josh, you're starting to get skinnier, what are you doing? So I'm, I'm eating healthier, I'm working out with uh, my trainer, Vincent, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Um, and what position do you play in soccer? I play right back and left back. And, and how and how and how do you think this your transformation is going to help you with your sport this spring? I think it's going to help me uh, keep up with the other faster players because I've lost a lot of weight and I've gained more muscle, and uh, I'll be faster and more agile. And just to let everybody know, Josh has only been with me for the past three months. Today was actually his last session with me, and he goes into his soccer season. So. As Josh continues through the soccer season, I'm still going to provide him with um, meal plans to, to help him continue so that when soccer season's over and he comes back, we can continue to work on getting him the games. So, like, how do you see yourself in the future as far as, like, where you are right now, where you want to go, like, what's really inspiring you to say, I want to keep going with this? Well, uh, in the future, like, in the next few months, I see myself being really fit and muscular and still playing soccer because soccer is my favorite sport and uh, I can see myself in the future when I'm only being an entrepreneur and uh, possibly helping people out. That's awesome. That's all the questions I have for you today. Anything you want to ask me? What made you want to start losing weight also and working out? Well, what, what happened when I, I worked out, played sports my entire life and was fairly fit. Um, around the age of 29, 30, I stopped working out with like trash in my body and ended up weighing over 350 pounds. Um, when I first started working out again, uh, it was intimidating for me. I, I really couldn't do anything. But gradually over time, and really it's taken over the past 11 years to help me get to the point to where I am right now. Um, I decided to become a, a certified fitness trainer so that I could help people that had the same struggles similar to me and, and to basically let them know that nutrition was the key to helping me become healthier and, there were, and there's no magic pills. There are things that can help you out there, but there's no magic pill that can basically say make it all disappear in a healthy way. That's great. Cool. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. See you next week on Yard Beast TV.